The 2024 Six Nations had some incredible games and some amazing tries. So many amazing tries that I've put together my top 10 in order. So stick around to the end to find out which one I think was the best try of this year's Six Nations. Starting off with 10. In 10, this one is Alex Mann for Wales against England in week two. And this one started with some kick tennis, but I love this because of what happened next. Alex Mitchell, boom, have that. But this is quite important because it means England's defense is all over the place. Wales react quickly with a great carry from Josh Adams. And then they fill the field here as England is short numbered. Look how many players Wales have got out there and they just move it to the space. But this is really important there. Tompkins holds on the ball. Rafael hits the hole as Freddie Stewart shaked outwards. And then Wales are in behind again. Play quickly here, just a short phase to get reorganized. And England's back three are all in the frame at the moment, which is important. Back, ball back inside to Rafael, Thomas Williams to Alex Mann. No England players in sight and over for the try. Wonderful play, just playing to the space, seeing what's in front of you. Some lovely subtlety with the hands there. Gareth Thomas with that ball back inside. And then just picking off the final defenders as Wales stun England at Twickenham. In nine. Big Duhan van der Merwe versus England in week three. And well, which one of the three tries did I pick? It's this special solo effort. As England try and play through the phases, George Ford flips one off of Furbank's forehead. Hugh Jones with the great offload to Duhan, who just takes off. Absolutely elite pace to burn Henry Slade, flirting with the corner flag to smash it down. I mean, absolutely wild. It looks incredible running at that pace. Ben Earl, no slouch. Henry Slade, absolute gas. And Doohan has done them both. Murrayfield goes wild. And I just love watching Dr. James Robson sprint down the touchline after him. Magnificent. In eight. And this is George Furbank versus Ireland in week four. Ireland's set up to exit. This is a really good kick from Gigson Park, actually. George Ford catches it right on the touchline and moves it quickly in field where England try and play to space. It's a little bit clunky, but they keep the ball alive here. Get it to Fayo Waboso, who did what he did all day and made ground with the carry. England again get organised so quickly. Jamie George with the ball at the back to Ford. Underhill probably should have passed, but the offload works. Itoji, Furbank like a rapier down the outside to skin Ireland and put England right back in this game. And you've got to love that camera angle. Lovely soft focus in the background as George celebrates his try. In seven. And this is Tommaso Allen versus England in week one. And let's pause this one right at the very start. Italy, their own 10 meter line, slow ruck. What would most teams do? Box kick, right? But not Italy. They see England as short numbered and Brex carries up out the back to Garbisi looping. Allen on the line. And then off to Menoncello, who times his pass and run perfectly back inside to Allen, scaring the pigeons and over for a quality Italy try at the start of this championship. In six, and this is Oli Lawrence versus Ireland in week four. And this one is built off kick pressure from England. Bundiaki gets whacked by Oli Chesham and dragged back along with Faye Waboso. England then hit Ireland again on the next phase. And just watch Ben Earl here. He is amped up and ready to put pressure on the cannon left boot of James Lowe. And he manages it. That's a scuff kick from Lowe. So short that Furback doesn't even catch it on the fall, but it bounces in field. And Furback sets off with England's centres gaining out wide. Boom! Freeman takes the contact incredibly well. England reload. Ford takes the space. Furbank onto Slade, onto Lawrence and into the corner. What I love about this try absolutely the most was the understanding of the space in front of George Ford. He paused for a second and he realised Ireland were backing off. Got that ball to Furbank who by that stage had enticed Henshaw in to try and make the tackle and then it was just simple hands on the outside. Leaving George Ford to boot the ball into the stand. Boom! And that is about as much emotion as you'll ever see from Steve Borthwick. Number five, and this one is Jack Crowley versus Italy in week two. 
and Italy showing some of their newfound pragmatism here. And uh, Keenan catches the ball. What would most people do? Set the mark and kick it? No, he is off. He's taken it to Italy and he is gone. This is just amazing play. Gets him back up to the halfway line. And Ireland is seriously on the front foot now to play into their shape so, so quickly. And Menoncello steps in, but Henshaw rides it incredibly well. And I'm just going to fast forward this bit now because there's several, several phases. Ireland again now, back into shape, just playing patiently. Every option is always an option. And they get another good carry here from Henshaw, who gets through. Once again, though, no panic from Ireland. They didn't make it all the way, but they're back into shape. So many options for Italy to consider. And Ireland continue to do this for phase after phase after phase. Sometimes just hitting a one-out runner to keep momentum into the move. Sometimes playing some fancy plays out the back. But they keep moving forward. And I'm just going to fast forward this bit now because there's several, several phases. And as a phase count hits 11 now, Ireland is still moving forward. Crowley's got some space there, a beautiful offload. Watch how quickly he gets back up off the floor as Craig Casey snipes. Crowley runs at the hole and he's in. This was an incredible team try showing patience, options at the line and exactly what Ireland do so well. In four, and this is Nolan Legarek against England in week five. This one starts from an England line out, which is beautifully stolen by Francois Cross. Legarek gathers the bouncing ball and whips it across the park. Hands, hands, just short passes, that's all that's needed. Fiku takes the gap and passes on to Leo Barry, who dummies Marcus Smith. George Ford gets back to make the tackle, but that double pump inside is so important. Legarek dives into a cacophony of orange. Alex Mitchell luckily just missing out on that. And this is one of the most spectacular tries you'll ever see. Leon goes wild, and it's an absolute sucker punch to England, who would have probably been hoping to have scored themselves. Henry Slade questions his choices, and oh look, there's King Charles. And we are now into the top three. And at three, we have Lorenzo Pani versus Wales in week five. Italy with the line out, a dummy maul. Nice little loop play here. Menoncello takes it to the line as good as anybody. Varney to Brex to Garbisi. Ioni through the hole and he finds Pani, who looks like he's got a lot to do, but an incredible step through for the score. The Italians take the ball to the line better than anybody else in world rugby at the moment, I think. Menoncello is incredible timing and accuracy of pass. Varney fizzes it to Brex, who again takes the ball to the line and the timing of the pass back to Garbisi opens the hole for Ioni. And then it's all down to Pani for this incredible finish as he makes Dyer fall over and finishes it with a Cristiano Ronaldo. In two. And this one is Ben White versus France in week two. And this one starts with a loose ball following a kick chase. Rory Darge on it in a flash and Scotland play quickly. Pierre Schumann carrying the ball up here. The Scotland gets shaped incredibly quickly behind. Onto Russell, out the back to, to a Pilotto. Duan van der Merwe onto Harry Patterson who checks back inside to Hugh Jones to Ben White to scramble over for an incredible try. Scotland got the broken field and exploited it in a flash. What I love is the speed that they reloaded into the backfield, got their shape, and then the quality of the running lines is supreme. And something that's rare in the rocking horse is a pass from Duan van der Merwe. Look at that. Debutant Harry Patterson correctly steps back inside towards his support where Hugh Jones gets the ball in and away incredibly quickly with little T-Rex arms for a remarkable Scotland score. In one and my try of the 2024 Six Nations is Ange Capuozzo for Italy against France in week three. 12 minutes to go and seven points down in Lille. And let's pause this one here. Italy back their attack. It doesn't matter what field position they're in. If they need a score, they'll try and go and get it. And look here as Menoncello goes charging up the middle of the pitch like an absolute bull. He gets the offload to Varney, who in turn finds Ioani in support. And they've gone miles up the pitch. Giuliani does a quick little pirouette, nothing on that way. So they go in and recycle again. And now Italy are just looking to keep momentum in this as Ioni carries up. They've got some shape now, 
and they're looking to play a little bit and find some holes. Again, Brex with a great carry on, a soft shoulder. Italy again move the ball to space, keeping this French defensive line under pressure, but at the same time maintaining great patience. The Zuliani carries up, and then they go quickly to the line again here as Brex once more carries through the line looking for offloads. Another phase, and now it's Garbisi's turn to just step back inside, offloads to Lucchese, offload to Marion, through a hole, over the top to Capuozzo for the score, and Italy are right back in this game. I love the Italian ambition. I love the fact that they've got structure and shape, and they play with it with incredible accuracy. But I also love the last bit of this try where they're just playing what's in front of them, just running into holes, and the fact that they included a little offload to the hooker, Lucchese, and back out again made it the try of the tournament for me. Here we go, let's look at this last phase one more time. Garbisi steps into Lucchese to Marin, over the top, Ange Capuozzo, try of the 2024 Six Nations Championship. There we go, that's what I think. Those are my top 10 and that was my number one. Well, what do you think? Which top tries have I missed out that didn't quite make the cut for me? Let me know in the comments down below and I'll join you there for a conversation. Give this video a thumbs up while you're down there if you don't mind and you can subscribe there. You can watch that one next and don't forget to get out and play.